Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're talking about how to edit your footage and put together a sequence in GoPro Studio. So we're going to be covering a lot of different things. From your step one view and trim window, you're going to either press this proceed to step two or step two option once you have converted all of the clips that you want to use. So just click that and you will be prompted either to use a blank template or a template that they give you. And so they will give you a template that you will basically plug in your footage into. I'm going to use a blank template because I'm always about creating things from scratch. While you can do this, it's a little bit easier and it shows you how long it is and how many cuts it is. And you can even download more GoPro templates by clicking this button up here. But I'm just going to select blank template and then create so that you can learn how to create on your own. So you will see that your media is over here. These are the individual clips that you have created by in the last step, the view and trim step. You will see a timeline down here with a video track, a title track, and an audio track. We're going to be covering all that stuff later. Over on the right side, you have different options for playback, and then this blank spot right here, which will have different effects and editing tools once you are selecting different video or audio or different types of footage. Then down below you have presets. Again, we'll talk about all this stuff later. To start editing, basically what you have to do is take your clips and drag them to your timeline. You can even go further and trim them up here. Say, I play through this and I don't want the end of this or something. If I just want the middle, you can go with the in and out point here and continue to trim it down. But since you've already trimmed it, probably all this footage is what you want. You will also notice that automatically my footage became a lot more contrasted, dark, and saturated. That's because it adds a little bit of video processing to it, which I don't necessarily want yet. So to get rid of that, what I can do is select my clip and click this None button, which takes it back to the original look. Then what you want to do is start putting together a sequence by dragging your clips in the order that you would like. So for me, I'm building this sequence of climbing this mountain. So we're going to start at the bottom of the mountain with this. I'm not going to use this engagement ring shot for this video. And then just lay down your clips. Typically, you might just put them in order. You can rearrange them if you want. And you would just go through and put them in, on your timeline. You can reorganize them on your timeline by clicking and dragging them around. So I have this shot here. You click and drag it, and you can see where you want it to end up. And you might have to go through some of these and make sure that they don't have the color correction, unless you like that, that look. And then you can go to the start and press this play button to see what it looks like. There we are at the bottom of the mountain. Whoa, I do not like that clip actually. So maybe I will delete that just by selecting and hitting delete on my keyboard. So it goes from here to here. Okay, so that was kind of like a very similar shot. So again, this is what editing is all about. I'll delete that first shot because I like this second shot better. Then we got the steps, then we got us looking up and so that step shot looks a little bit long so how can we trim it well we can select it and then go to about where you want to cut out and you can do two things you can either use this split clip at current position which splits the clip and then the second part of the clip we can delete or we, what we can do is put our timeline indicator where we want to exit and click this out point one thing you'll know about the timeline is that it's not like a traditional timeline if you are editing on Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro. You don't see a timeline with times. Uh, you can't kind of you can't really see how long these clips are because the way you are viewing it, it looks the same amount of time per clip. But these clips are all different amounts of time, and so even though the clips look like they are the same length on the timeline they are actually different time. They're a different amount of time. 
So how do we improve this? Let's talk about adding a transition. To add a fade transition across dissolve between these two clips, you can easily just click this plus button right there, which adds a dissolve between the two clips. You can see there again, dissolve between those two clips. So there you have a fade. But say we want to make this fade a little bit longer. What we can do is select the transition, go up to this timeline right here, click this little square button right here, which is a gray square, which becomes yellow when we click it, and then drag it in or out, and that changes how long the transitions are. And so whether you like transitions or not, that's an easy way to add a transition. To get rid of it, you can just select it and press delete. And so in the next few tutorials, we're going to be going over a lot of specific things like adding titles, music, slowing down your footage, color correction, using the styles. But basically, in terms of editing, what your goal is, is to put your video clips in the right order and trim out any of the footage that you don't want. So go through all your footage, put together a sequence, and then in the next tutorial, we'll be talking about improving your video, adding titles, and all sorts of other things. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next tutorial.